Most of us are familiar with the term torque converter, and we associate it with an automatic transmission. But what does a torque converter really do? When the first automatic transmissions were developed, there had to be a way to transfer power from the engine to the transmission without a clutch. The answer to solve this problem was a fluid coupling. A fluid coupling utilizes an impeller and turbine housed together in a sealed unit. Fluid is pumped into it, and as it spins, the impeller, which is an integral part of the housing and rotates with the engine, throws the fluid into the blades of the turbine. This, in turn, causes the turbine to rotate. The turbine is connected to the transmission input shaft, so this basic fluid coupling provided the ability to transfer the power from the engine into the transmission. The aspect of a fluid coupling that made it ideal for an automatic transmission was at low engine speeds, the force of the fluid leaving the impeller was not great enough to spin the turbine, allowing the vehicle to be stopped and remain in gear without stalling the engine. As the automatic transmission itself evolved, the standard fluid coupling was replaced by the torque converter. The advantage of a torque converter is that it has an additional component installed between the impeller and turbine called a stator. The stator redirects the flow of the fluid exiting the turbine in the direction which the impeller is already spinning, which multiplies the torque output of the converter. The stall speed of a torque converter is the maximum attainable engine RPM with the transmission in gear before the wheels are forced to turn. The average stall speed for a stock vehicle is 1500 to 2000 RPM. While we rarely think about this on an everyday driver, it's of extreme importance for performance and racing with high stall converters often seeing 4,000 to 5,000 RPM in drag cars so a vehicle can launch with the engine reaching the base of its horsepower curve. Since a fluid coupling can't offer a direct coupling like a clutch, there's an efficiency loss in their operation. Lock-up torque converters were developed to physically connect the impeller and turbine above a certain speed, eliminating this loss and improving fuel efficiency. Common symptoms of a failed torque converter can be shuddering, an overheating or slipping transmission, loss of acceleration, and noise from the transmission. On today's vehicles, a torque converter trouble code can cause an illuminated check engine light. Thanks for watching.